right. Well, this is, um, I think it's uh, year nine now for Hudson Yachts, and year, this is my sixth year in Sharman, with Hudson Wong, the owner of Hudson Yacht Group. And uh, uh, here we are at the City Boat Truck with uh, our Hudson Power Cap, Full Yacht Power Cap, Bill Dixon Design. Um, we've just uh, finished building Hudson Power Cap number six, which is actually also on its way now here to Sydney right now and uh, it's, it's got a lot of different features on it. This boat was actually built more for the European market. The one that's coming here is going to be close fly bridge, air conditioning upstairs, electric oven and sunroof. Uh, more to what we believe the Australian market wants in a power cap. Um, and uh, you know, the boat's been well received. It's a good looking boat. Many say this is the first good looking power cap they've ever seen <laughs> and that's all tribute to the designer Bill Dixon. Uh, Bill has, uh, when he designed this boat, he, he made a point of saying I'm not designing a power cap to compete with other power cats, I'm actually designing a power cap to compete with the Rivieras, the Timos, to offer the, you know, to offer the sort of luxury uh, and accommodation spaces that those yacht owners are looking for, or used to, and um, typically not seen in other power cats until, until this boat. So we made a big push to make sure that the interiors are luxurious, um, and the real wood finishes all the way through, so it's in the cappings. Um, and I guess the crown jewel of this boat is the master cabin. That's a uh, full king-size walk-around bed it's up, on the, up on the wing deck, and uh, I'm on it front of the boat, so you're not living in the house. It's a big, a big, big bus. You've got an ensuite in one hull, walking wardrobe in the other hull, and the king size bed in the middle. And then, of course, the engines. We make a point of always making sure our engines are always back of the boat, behind the solid bulkhead, where they can be serviced outside, the noise, whereas not they push the interiors and give credit to them to doing that, but you quite often end up sleeping on the engines, which you can't get rid of the noise, you can't get rid of the heat, and the last thing you want is a technician changing the oil inside your bedroom, quite frankly. <laughs> so there's, this is why I believe this boat is kind of special and it's going to really do well here in the Australian market. It's starting to get traction already in, the, in Florida and the US, where we've really sort of really pushed it for. Um, the rest of the Hudson Yacht Group, I mean, our flagship is the HH Catamarans, and um, that's some really Melbourne design. It's going from strength to strength. We've just launched six to HH 66 number five. Uh, very special boat as we put the tillers on it in the back. Uh, it's the first one with a forward helm station, inside helm with a big forward cockpit. Uh, we used to step outside into the forward cockpit and then you've got um, all your roofing lines, halyards, tack lines, all the sail controls there. So you can actually drive the boat from the safety and the comfort of the forward cockpit. And then when you need that apparent breeze or you can do some performance sailing, you go to the helm chair at the back where you've got full view of the sail plan and you've got this tiller. Now, Personally, I was actually sceptical whether we were going to be able to do this successfully with a 19 ton, 66 foot boat. And you'll draw. With a tiller. And it's been a joy. I've been the last six weeks sailing that boat and you couldn't get me out of the helm chair. I didn't get him, right? You didn't get the same, Peter. <laughs> but uh, it, it's incredible because the helm chairs we put push button cell controls on. So you've got traveller up and down, main sheet in and out, staysail, uh, self-taking staysail with a drum winch in the front, uh, in and out as well. So you've got all your cell controls there and a tiller. And the boat is so beautifully balanced. You know, you let go of the tiller and give her about 10, 15 seconds and it just starts to wind up to weather, just as you want it. Man, it's, it's a I couldn't believe it that I'd be actually sailing this boat, 66 foot long, 18 tons, flying a hull with the beach run with the tillers. 
And um, so we really think that's going to actually, uh, again, you know, we've, we've innovated, we've, we've changed in the way we're doing things all the time. It's, I think people will be very excited by that moment. It's, and she's going to be showing at the um, Annapolis show. Um, and then, actually, at the Newport and the Annapolis show, we also have our new 55, the HH55. Um, HH55, hull number one, has just arrived in the um, USA and she's been cruising down to the Bahamas, now is up in Newport. Um, and that boat is, uh, again, it's a sensation. It's the whole back of the boat is uh, glass doors which all push to one side. Um, the cockpit is flush with the salon and, and you have this wonderful sort of enormous space. Uh, there's, there's no, I've never seen anything like it on the market. Um, indeed, within one week of it arriving in Florida, we had a Liverpool Helio 44 couple. They were looking for a new boat. They said their budget was $2 million for their upgrade. They came back on the boat three days later, and then a week later gave me a proposal for purchase for $2.65 million with the options they wanted. And they said, we know we had a budget for $2 million for this boat. We're in love with it. It's so worth it. So it's unique. There's nothing on the market like we're doing. We've, we've created a, a beautiful niche, and um, we're finding that uh, not only the mature discerning yachtsmen is going to the HF catamarans, but the uh, the exciting new entrant yachtsman, who's the CEO, he wants something fantastic. This is it. Yeah, it's all carbon. Um, they're wind speed plus boats, and uh, that's what's really exciting people. The fact that they can, you know, seven knots of wind, they're doing seven plus knots. They don't have to use the engines. They have to wait for the afternoon thermals to go sailing. So, we're doing well. The factory's doing well. Uh, I believe with every boat, you know, you, you always, you're only as good as your last boat, so you've got to make your next boat even better. Um, with all our designers on site, we've got 20 engineers sitting upstairs. We we, we customise every boat, even our power cats, as you see here. When people step on the power cat, they say, "Oh, can we change this to a pantry, this bedroom to that?" It's like that's not a problem. We've got the in-house design capability. We can do all that. Uh, what's more, we you know, we make sure we couple ourselves with the best designers in the world. So it's. The foundation building block of the boat is quality. It's just quality from there on. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to a few more exciting years of uh, <laughs> HH Canarans and our new Hudson Power Cats. Uh, the 48's the beginning of the range. This is what we've got here. People step on board, they can't believe it's only 48 feet long. Oh, wow. um, and next is uh, the 56. And we've even got bigger ones on the drawing board right now. For sure, the future's in multi holes, power cats. Um, yeah, people with their big 51 foot, sort of 1200 horsepower boats, sort of realizing, wow, we can go <laughs> the same sort of speed with only 700 horsepower and we've got twice as much space and no one's getting seasick. <laughs> it's a win win. Uh, multi holes are the future and um, we like to think we're leading that as well. Good. Thank you. All right. How's that? All good. <laughs> Thank you. Can you?